Uh, is this a buy the dip or is this a true panic about tax reform? So we don't yet think it's at a stage where it's at a true panic. You know, what's, um, what we're seeing here is that when we look at our analysis of what's priced into the market, I think this is really important, there's still not much optimism about things being done. There's been an unwind of some of the pessimism that nothing will be done, but we're not yet at a stage where optimism has started to build. So what this means is that combined with the fact that we're still a long way from something eventually being put together, means that we're expecting to see you know, some turbulence. And I think here is turbulence is, is key in thinking about the size of the turbulence. We're talking here about half percent moves in markets. These are very small. These are based on quite limited flows. And we're looking at 11% VIX, so let's keep that in perspective. But going forward, is it not just about tax reform? It's about what a delay would mean then for the 2008, uh, 2018 midterms. You also had all the scandal around the uh, Senate candidate Ray Moore and if Roy Moore if he has to resign who would take his place etc I mean is that a risk that needs to be started to price in so we think the, the not just this but also there's some kind of global f uh, financial liquidity conditions these are risks which people do need to start taking into consideration but I think what's very interesting is when we talk to investors what they're telling us is that equities have been such a key driver of portfolio performance this year they're cautious about reducing the amount of overweight in portfolios but what we are seeing is that investors want to put on more hedges so that's buying downside options that's looking for hedges in different asset classes like FX so you are starting to see concerns build but not yet to the stage where risk is being outright taken off the table